Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in today's video, we will see how to do a cross browser testing and how to perform a parallel testing on different browser in TestNG. So how this can be achieved? So for that, what we have to do, we have to go to testng.xml and we have to give a parameter here. Okay. So there's a tag called parameter. Okay, in this tag, I have to give the name and value. So for the name, I will give browser. So this is just like a key and the value I will give Chrome. All right, and I'm trying to pass this into this test. All right, now what I can do, I can just copy this entire test and paste it one more time. And I will change the name of this test as Firefox or maybe Fire and parameter name browser value I'm giving a Firefox here. Okay, so I am passing the Firefox in my second test. Okay, and both of these tests are in test suit. And this test can have more than one classes. All right, but right now I am just running one class. So this suit contain two tests which I have. In one, I am giving the Chrome as my value. In another, I am giving the Firefox as my value. Okay. And if I come into my test class, if you see, I have already written the before method, which was I have written in the previous class, in the previous video. So in the before method, what I can do, I can give a if else condition. And before I give anything, there is a one more annotation, which I need to give, which is at the rate parameters. Okay. And if I do a control space, it give me all the parameter and all the annotations I will use at the rate parameter in test ng. Okay, so under that I can give my key which I am getting from my test ng dot XML. So this is a key which I'm getting and now I can use the same key here. I can extract this value here in using browser variable. Okay, now I can use this browser variable by giving if condition so I will give if browser dot equals or I can use equal ignore case and here I can give if the value is Chrome then it has to set the properties and driver equal to new Chrome driver. So let me give that into curly braces. Okay. All right, and I am closing the curly braces here. All right, so if my browser is Chrome, it will set the property of the Chrome and it will instantiate the driver. And then I can give if else if, same thing, which is written here. But now I will do for Firefox value, okay? So I'm just copying this above line. If browser dot equal ignore case, Firefox. All right, and here also same thing. I have to set the system properties and I have to give the driver name. So you know for Firefox, I need to give webdriver.gecko.driver, right? And here I need to give the path. So what I will do, I will go to my software folder. So this is the path of my gecko driver. So I will give the path here. Okay, I need to give a file name, so it should be Gecko Driver. So let me just rename it, or I can just type directly Gecko Driver. Okay, and I need to give a double slash here. So it is gecko driver.exe. All right, now once it is done, it will maximize the window and will it open up the browser. And if you see here, this is nothing but just a line which is printing. Okay, all right, so this has been done. And if you see in test ng again, so there are two tests which it should run. So it will run this class one time 
with the Chrome browser and then it will run this browser second time, run this test second time on the Firefox browser. Okay, so very simple to do that and let me just run it. Now what I'm expecting that it run this class twice. One it run on the Chrome browser and other time it will run on the Firefox browser. So it has run Chrome method Y and now again it's opening Chrome maximizing the window open the URL and print inside method text onto console and then it will close the browser okay so everything right now is happening on the Chrome browser nothing has happened on the Firefox browser okay so my Chrome test has been done so my test one has been done okay so let's wait okay so everything is running on Chrome browser let me see we made some mistakes then it says Chrome it says Firefox and then it says Gecko driver oh so this is the problem see so what we have done here in the if else condition we have given system.set properties correctly but for the driver we are still instantiating a chrome driver so this is not correct right so everything has run on the chrome browser so what we need to do we have to give firefox driver here right so now try to run it again run this XML file run test ng suit so it is again open the browser so it has run the method y So right now if you see it is running my test cases sequentially right so it has run it has run the test case y and z correct on my chrome browser now i am expecting these test cases to run on the firefox okay so again i'm expecting that it will run my test cases sequentially that is y and z so if you see here it has opened the firefox browser so still the URL is not open and the reason is Firefox is a bit slow as compared to Chrome so it takes some time you know before it executes its test cases so it's trying to open a URL now if you see at the address bar it's trying to do something okay so see it has opened it has uh, run the test case on the Firefox now so before uh, before making this change it was just running on Chrome but now after making the change we can see that my same test cases are running on Chrome and same test cases are running on Firefox so this is called a cross browser testing and sometimes when you're working on a project there's a need that you do a cross browser testing to make it sure your website on which you're working is working fine on both the browsers okay so if you see the report all right so here it has run both the test chrome and test fire and it has run my test cases on both the browsers all right one more thing before we end this video it is also possible to run this test case parallelly so right now they were running sequentially but we can run this test case parallelly so what we have to do under the suit tag we have to give a tag called parallel and instead of none we can give here test T E S T with the S tests okay and now if you try to run this okay it will run my test cases parallelly 
So obviously Chrome is a bit faster right now. So my test cases on Chrome will finish first as compared to Firefox. But you will see that it is running parallelly. And if you have more than uh, one test, like right now we are running just two test cases. But let's say your regression suit has like 50 or 100 test cases. So this parallel execution will save a lot of time of yours. See, it has opened the Firefox also in parallel. All right, it is not running sequentially. It has opened the Firefox after the first test case of Chrome has run. All right, and now it has opened the Chrome also. So everything is running on two, uh, you know, two browsers at the same time. In other words, we can say they are running the test cases on two different threads. All right. So as I was saying that when you have, uh, you know, lot more test cases, it will save save lot of your time when you are doing a parallel execution on different browsers. All right. So let me show you the report. Okay, so test Chrome. The report is not complete yet. Okay, see for Chrome, one test case has been run for Firefox till now and two for Chrome. And now it is running a second test case for Firefox. All right, so this is the way we can do a parallel execution. For any issues, you can always uh, let me know uh, through the comment section. And uh, thank you for watching this video. So in the next session, we will see something more interesting for TestNG. All right. Thank you.